Okay, so finally I've gotten a response back from a televangelist. Um, I've sent off like four or five requests from different televangelists to send me like their trinkets or whatever for like either for free or for a small donation. And, and this is the only guy that has responded in about two months. Um, so Richard Roberts um, sent me a letter and uh, let's, let's have a look at what we got here. Eh? Uh, it's a pleasure to hear from you and I'm thankful for your seed gift of ten dollars. Yeah, I had to pay for this one, you know, a bit of a, a bit of a donation. Uh, but I need to also to remind you that our enemy, the devil, would like nothing better than to distract you and cause you to doubt God's word. Oh, yes he does. Lindsay and I are praying for a new level of faith for you in 2013. I hope to hear from you again soon and until then I remain your partner for miracles, Richard Roberts. You know, the big problem is, I requested uh, a prayer cloth from this guy and also um, anointing oil, Holy Spirit anointing oil uh, as well. And all I got was an envelope. This is all I got, one envelope. And inside it was a uh, envelope to send money back to this guy. Uh, I don't get it. Where's my stuff? I paid 10 bucks and they didn't send me anything. Yeah, laugh it up. Well, I don't know if there's a separate package coming later, but let me tell you a little story. Back around 2001 or so, Richard Roberts came to Australia to conduct some meetings. He's the son of Oral Roberts, who was a very popular preacher in the US. For some reason, I decided to go and check him out. I go and there's about 2,000 people there. Richard Roberts preaches a sermon on the Holy Spirit. At the end of his sermon, he starts talking about how the Holy Spirit made him laugh and how everyone should have a refilling of the Holy Spirit. And I lay there and I laughed and I laughed and I laughed and I laughed and as I laughed, I heard the Holy Spirit speak to me and say, and as you laugh, I'm going to pay off your debt. Now, some of you know exactly where this is going, the laughing revival. Yep, for a number of years, God manifested himself in certain churches by making people laugh in the spirit. It was part of two wacky movements that broke out around the same time, called the Brownsville Revival and the Toronto Blessing. It was essentially a similar phenomenon in two major locations, and its proponents would preach around other churches trying to get them in on the game, getting them to catch the fire, so to speak. These so-called revivals were characterized by all kinds of silly behavior. It was basically an excuse for church members to go nuts and blame it on being moved by the Holy Spirit. And wait till they come to Boston. And Lord, if it blows our little minds, let them be blown. Father, we want all of what you have. All of what you have. We thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These revivals started taking off around 1995 and lasted for a solid five years, spreading to various charismatic and Pentecostal churches. Though many churches, including the charismatic and Pentecostal crowd, rejected these revivals, and a number denounced it as being demonic manifestations and not from God. I remember one of the most controversial scenes was a conversation between Kenneth Copeland and Rodney Howard Brown. They were talking to each other in tongues 
and pretending they understood what each other was saying. My own church group and many others condemned it as blasphemy. The Richard Roberts meeting I went to was at the tail end of this revival. By this time, many churches were sceptical and had heard about all the weird things that had happened previously. Still, he did get about half the congregation to put their hand on their stomach and start laughing, uh, essentially forcing themselves into an emotional high. Charismatic churches are always trying to find new ways to fake the presence of God. Once this started happening, a number of people walked out, and it wasn't long before I left also. Well, if the prayer cloth I ordered actually shows up, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching. Who is the candidate tonight for a drink of the new wine of the Holy Spirit? Stand up on your feet tonight. Pastor John and Carol, I want to give my official disclaimer. I sincerely apologize for what is about to happen. I give you my word, I will do nothing, but I promise you it will happen. It will start small and it will grow and it will spread. Well, this is catch the fire. Many people are going to be set free tonight. And when it hits, when it hits, Oh my, when it hits, Ooh, glory, when it hits, put your hand on your belly, unfasten your seatbelt, say this out loud after me, ha, ha, ha. joy, unspeakable, and full of glory. It's joy. What are you laughing at? Nothing. Nothing? No, nothing. Did I say something funny? Well, let me hear your testimony. <laughs> Wasn't that a wonderful testimony? It's joy unspeakable and full of glory. Hit you right there. Put your hand on your belly. Uh, that's supposed to happen with only Canadians and Americans, right? No. Anybody. Anybody. <laughs>